welcome viewers to another episode on SOG 12 exams so in this episode we are now looking at section B of the August 2022 science paper 2 which is basically the standard O level chemistry so in the first four episodes covered the question 1 through 20 so if you haven't seen the first four episode please go back to our YouTube channel and check uh, the detailed explanation to each and every answer of the 20 multiple choice question remember our goal is to ensure that you ace your grade 12 exams so let us start a section b by looking at question b1 the following experiment was set up to investigate factors that affect the rate of diffusion in gases during the experiment a cloud of white smoke was seen as the ammonia gas and hydrogen chloride gas reacted. Then uh, we have the setup. As you can see, we have cotton wool soaked in ammonia solution. Then we have cotton wool soaked in hydrochloric acid. Then, of course, we have tube T. Question A, define the term diffusion. So basically, when you are talking about diffusion, what are we basically talking about? So basically, it is just at the movement of particles from the area where they are I concentrated to the area where they are in low concentration. That's basically a diffusion. So take note, you see, basically, the movement of particles from an area of I concentration to an area of low concentration that is uh, basically the definition of diffusion okay let us look at question B which of the particles for ammonia or hydrochloric acid will move faster so we just need to know is it ammonia or hydrochloric acid and why so basically we go back to the experiment we know that uh, there are basically about four factors that affect the rate of diffusion we have uh, basically one of them being at the mass of the particle thus larger particles tend to move at a slower rate so they diffuse at a slower rate than the uh, lighter particles then number two temperature that's the case that the higher the temperature the faster the rate of diffusion so then we have the fourth one which is um, the uh, extent of concentration gradient so if you have a higher concentrating uh, gradient somewhere the diffusion is going to be higher at a higher rate from that end where the concentration gradient is lower then we have the fourth one which is the solvent density thus at the denser solvent they tend to be slower in terms of the rate of diffusion so we know that we've not been given temperature from this uh, setup we haven't been given uh, the gradient of concentration or concentration gradient and we haven't been given the solvent density but we've been given the the names of uh, the compound so the first thing that you can try to test is compare the masses of these particles we know that um, ammonia is given by NH3 meaning we have one nitrogen three hydrogen so the relative molecular mass of hydrogen on the periodic table is basically 14 that of hydrogen is in a uh, 3 multiplied by 1 so we have nitrogen 14 plus a uh, 3 times 1 which is 3 we get 17 so ammonia is 17 grams in terms of the mass then we look at hydrochloric acid also which is given by this formula which is given to us already here so uh, the relative molecular mass of hydrogen is a 1 then plus uh, Claudine, which is 35.5 so when you add this we're going to get 36.5 grams so we know from this end that um, ammonia is 
lighter than hydrochloric acid so in terms of movement ammonia is going to move faster than hydrochloric acid so ammonia is the answer so when you come here we write ammonia gas see Loma numeral one at which point a to d along the tube t will the white cloud be seen so along this tube where will uh, the cloud be seen so we know that uh, in terms of weight ammonia is below the half the weight of hydrochloric acid so it's going to be moving at more than twice the speed of hydrochloric acid so what this tells us is the moment um hydrochloric acid is going to be reaching here then ammonia would have gone beyond the uh, B that's the movement because you see this is less than the half of this which is uh, basically about 18.25 uh, so the speed this is will be moving at more than twice the speed at which uh, hydrochloric acid gas is moving so most likely it will happen at C C is the most feasible then uh, Loma numero 2 of uh, C explain your answer in uh, C Loma numero 1 in terms of the movement so what we've uh, said because because ammonia is less than the half, half mass of hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid it is going to move at more than twice the speed or the rate it has said the rate at more than the rate of diffusion of hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid ends the white cloud would be formed at C okay so this is I'll just explain it then a D state factor that affects the rate of diffusion in the experiment above so the, which factor is that we already talked about so this is a mass of the particle uh, Loma numero 2 of dim state a safety precaution you take when carrying out the experiment so basically uh, what you notice in this case is the ammonia gas can irritate or burn the skin mouth throat or lungs so if a person get exposed to it they can get a irritation or burn of the skin mouth throat lungs or ears so to avoid that uh, thus basically one need to wear ammonia rated googles and uh, gloves when doing this experiment so we notice also that hydrochloric acid is gas is also an acid which can also uh, cause a uh, skin uh, burn so also this would still apply so the key principle is put on a protective uh, growths and the googles to protect yourself from exposure to this uh, gases in case of uh, the escape so basically this is how you answer this question so join me in the next episode as we look at uh, question b2